Understanding Awning. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into a common yet fascinating word in the English language, awning. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what it means, but also how and where it's commonly used. An awning is a secondary covering attached to the exterior wall of a building. It is typically composed of canvas, polyester, or other materials stretched over a light structure of aluminum, iron, or steel. The main purpose of an awning is to provide shade from the sun, protection from rain, or simply for decorative purposes. Imagine you're walking on a sidewalk during a sunny day, and you see a shop with an extended roof-like structure over its entrance or window. That's an awning. It not only gives the shop a distinctive look but also protects customers from direct sunlight or rain. Awnings can be seen in various places. 1. Shops and cafes. They can be seen outside shops, especially those with large windows, to prevent the sun from directly shining in. Cafes might also use them to cover outdoor seating areas. 2. Homes. Many houses have awnings over windows, patios, or doors to provide shade and protection. 3. Recreational vehicles, RVs. If you've ever seen an RV with an extended covering on its side, that's an awning, providing a shaded area for people to sit outside. 4. Events. Temporary awnings might be set up at outdoor events, fairs, or markets to protect stalls or stages from unpredictable weather. Awnings come in various styles. 1. Retractable awnings. These can be rolled or folded up. They're popular for homes and businesses since they can be used when needed and hidden away when not. 2. Stationary awnings. These are permanently fixed. They are durable and can withstand different weather conditions, but they don't offer the flexibility of retracting. 3. Motorized awnings. As the name suggests, these awnings are operated with an electric motor, typically with a remote control. It's the modern way to provide shade with convenience. 4. Portable awnings. These are used for temporary purposes like picnics or outdoor events. They can be easily set up and taken down. We hope this video shed some light on the term awning for you. Next time you walk by a shop or sit in a cafe under one, you'll know exactly what it's called and why it's there. Stay curious and keep learning. Until next time.